Let's talk employee training videos. It's cost effective to create them in-house with the team you have. It's going to save you time and resources. You get better engagement. 73% of people said when it comes to learning material that they would choose to watch a video. You can make it interactive. You can add a quiz at the end. And also it's fair to everybody. Everybody gets the same level of enthusiasm and the same standard of training, which is why in this video, I'm going to give you my template for creating a script. I'll teach you how to record, edit, download, and share your employee training video. By the end of this video, you'll have created a training video that looks something like this. And best of all, it is all done using one tool, Veed. So let's get straight into the video. Here's how to create an employee training video. This is how you should structure each segment of your training video. Introduction. Tell the viewer what they're watching and what they'll be learning in the video itself. Why it's important. If the viewers don't see value in your video, then why would they watch it? Demonstration. This is where you either demonstrate or explain how to do the task. Finished result. You're going to show what the end result is supposed to look like just to give everybody a clear overview of the goal and what they're going to be working towards. Benefit and step recap. You're going to list all the benefits of knowing how to do the task and give a super quick overview of the steps. Call to action. Tell them what they need to do next. You can add in a quiz or you can tell them where to click on screen to move over to the next segment. Now, just a few extra tips when it comes to your script. You're going to use a conversational tone. Make sure to keep it short and sweet. You don't want people to lose focus and you're going to use simple, clear language that's easy to follow. For recording our video, we're going to be using Veed's built-in recorder because with Veed, we can record both ourselves and a screen or slides at the same time. Now, this is perfect for talking employees through the training while showing them how it's done on screen. And the other reason we're going to be using this is because we can record each topic separately as a scene and then Veed's going to compile all of our segments into one video video automatically. So to get started, just click the first link down in the description. Now we're in Veed, click recorder and you can choose whichever layout is going to work best for you. For this, I'm going to choose slides and camera. Next, upload your slides and you can choose to upload a PDF or if you've used Google Slides, choose that option. And then once they're loaded, you can click on settings to choose your preferred camera and mic option. Now we can style and customize our video lecture by clicking on themes. And in here, we have a couple of different choices. So you can just click on them to test them out. And if you don't like the colors or the pattern, we can change them by clicking on background. You can then choose an ombre color, or if you don't like that, you can click on the search bar and type in any word and it's going to show you potential photos. Another option is the color tab. You're going to click on it and choose a block color, or if you have your own company branding, you can click on the upload tab and import that. The choice is yours, so just take your time here until you're happy with how it looks. Now, the next tool that we're going to use to our advantage is the prompter. You can paste your script in here, or you can even type out bullet points that you want to cover in this video. And the beauty of it is, is that when we record it and then we watch it back, you're not going to see that teleprompter on screen. Once you've entered the text, you can adjust the settings by changing the speed at which it appears on screen. You can also change the color of the text, the size of the text, and you can make the background light or dark. And then you're just going to drag that over to the corner of the screen so you can see which slide you're on. Now we're ready to record our training video. We're going to hit record. You'll get a three second countdown and the recording will begin. Then you can hit the play button on your teleprompter and you can also use the arrows down here to move over to the next slide. And then once you're finished, hit stop. You'll then be taken to this page where you have one last chance to change the background and theme and then you can click new scene to record the next segment. Down the bottom here you'll see the option to replace slides. You're going to click that and then upload your next set of slides for the next segment of the training video and then once that's loaded just repeat the same steps as before to set up your teleprompter and hit record. Now once you're finished recording that segment hit stop and if you need to add more scenes you're just going to keep repeating this until you've the video finished. Now we can edit our training video so just click edit video up the top. The first thing we can do is trim the footage. So if you've made any mistakes, we can correct that now. You're going to play the video, then pause it at the start of the mistake, then click split. Now play the video again, pause it at the end of the mistake and click split. And then you're just going to right click on the portion that you want to remove and hit delete. You can now hover your mouse between the two clips and click on the bin to close the gap. Now let's add some transitions between our scenes just so that there's a very clear cut ending and beginning. So to do that, we're just going to click transitions in the left toolbar. And in here, we've got lots of choices. You can just hover your mouse over each one to see how they work. Then click on the box between the clips and choose your favorite transition. And you can just repeat this for each scene and segment. Now, another thing that you can do to style your video is you can change the shape of the video itself. So we're just going to click on our face recording and where you see it says here round corners, you're going to turn that all the way up to 100 to make it circular. 
and then you can just click hold and drag your video to another part of the screen. Now another thing we can do to make our video a little bit more interesting is to add a moving element such as a GIF. So to do that you're just going to move your playhead over to the point in the video that you want your GIF to appear and then you're going to click elements in the toolbar, scroll down and you'll see here we have GIFs and animated stickers. So I'm going to click search next to GIFs, we're just going to search for the one that we want and then choose our favourite option and then once that's loaded we can then resize it and we can move it anywhere on screen. Now the next thing we're going to do is add subtitles so that our employees can easily follow along with the training video. So to do that we're just going to click subtitles in the left toolbar, click auto subtitle, choose your language and click create subtitles. Now that's going to work away and that's going to magically transcribe all of that audio so you don't have to and then once it's finished you're just going to watch it all the way through just to make sure it hasn't misheard or misinterpreted any of the words that you've said and if that has happened it is a very very simple fix. All you're going to do is click on the word that's wrong, delete it and type out the correct word. Now once all the mistakes have been corrected you're just going to click on the styles tab and you can choose any of these pre-made animated templates or we can customize our own by choosing our own font size, text color, effect color, we can add an animation and we can also add an effect. Now the last thing that I want to add is background music. So just make sure your playhead is the very beginning of your video, then you're just going to click audio in the toolbar, next to stock audio click search and in here it's all filtered by genre so you can just take your time, find the one that's going to be right for you. And then once you have it, select it and if it's longer than your video you're just going to push it over in the timeline so that it ends in sync with your video. Now click on it and we're just going to turn that audio down to under 10% and if you like you can turn on the fade in and fade out for your music. Now that's all ready to go, we can go ahead and export our employee training video. Click export in the top right hand corner, choose your render settings, make sure burn subtitles is marked as on and then click export video. Now you're going to give that a moment here to render and then you can watch it all the way through just to make sure you're happy with it and then click download and download mp4. You can also send the video link directly to employees by typing in their email or you can copy the link and share it that way. There's also the option to embed it on your website which is perfect if you have an internal HR site to track training and if your employees have any questions they can open up the chat tab, type in a question and add a timestamp which then allows you to click on that timestamp to see what they're referring to and then you can answer that question directly on Veed. It's a really helpful tool while training employees. And that's it, that's how to make employee training videos. I really hope you found this video helpful guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye!